2.5 billion year old traces of life discovered inside Ruby. Analyzing some of the oldest gemstones around the world, scientists from the University of Waterloo discovered originating Ruby a 2.5 billion year old carbonaceous sediment that contains evidence of occurrence life on Earth. Rubies, shiny, red gemstones built made of a transparent mineral, a variety of corundum. They are created under the influence of intense heat and pressure at the boundaries of the Earth's tectonic plates, where it forms the environment necessary for this. The stones owe their red color to the presence of the rare element chromium. The more of it there is, the more the red color will have a jewel. Like all minerals, rubies also differ in purity and transparency. Pollution or pollution may occur during the formation process inclusions in precious gems. This may prevent such stones from happening suitable for jewelry, but for science they are invaluable. The oldest rubies on our planet come mainly from Greenland. While examining one of these stones, a group of scientists came across on the graphite inside the gem a form of carbon that scholars claim may be a remnant of ancient microbiological life. A description of the new research has been published in Ore Geology Reviews. Research team led by Chris Yakimhuk of the University of Waterloo in Ontario, Canada, decided to study the geology of rubies, that to better understand the conditions necessary for their creation. During research on Greenland, where the oldest known ruby deposits in the world are located, the team found a stone containing graphite. Analysis of the sediment suggested that this is a remnant of early life. Graphite can be formed abiotically, that is, in processes physico-chemical, but it can also arise as a result of biological processes. One way to see the difference is to determine the individual isotopes carbon, which are a form of the same element but differ in the number of neutrons in the nucleus, and therefore, they have different masses. Over 98% of the planet's carbon it has a mass of 12 atomic mass units. But some carbon atoms are heavier and have a mass of 13 or 14 atomic mass units. After analyzing the ratio of different carbon isotopes in graphite, the team concluded that the sediment discovered in the ruby was of origin biological. According to scholars, it was created from an ancient mold form. The graphite inside this ruby is really special. Oh, for the first time we see in it evidence of the existence of ancient life admitted in Joachim Hook's statement, living matter is preferentially composed of lighter ones carbon atoms because their incorporation into cells requires less energy. Na based on the increased amount of carbon-12 in this graphite, we concluded that these carbon atoms used to be life, most likely microorganisms such as cyanobacteria said Joachim Hook. At a time when this microorganism, the planet, was probably alive she didn't have much oxygen element necessary for complex formation life. Life on Earth 2.5 billion years ago was extremely limited. The only thing that could survive at that time were tiny microorganisms. It is believed that cyanobacteria are one of the first forms of life on Earth and they are the ones over billions of years of converting sunlight into energy gradually they produced the oxygen necessary for the eventual evolution of complex life. This ruby with graphite sediment, although according to the authors of the study it contains evidence of life on Earth as early as 2.5 billion years ago then know it is the oldest evidence of life on our planet so far. Some research shows fossils from 3.5 billion years ago, suggesting that they are residues of ancient microorganisms. This issue is wide discussed in the scientific community and this dispute will probably continue until there will be irrefutable evidence. Apart from this, the gemstone in question is certainly the first ruby in which traces of ancient life were found. 
presence graphite also gives us more tips to determine how rubies they formed in this place, which is impossible to do directly on based on the color and chemical composition of ruby, Joachim Hook said. The original purpose of research, i.e. to learn about the processes leading to the ruby uprising was partially implemented. Scientists think very much it is likely that graphite is necessary to create rubies. As researchers have admitted, it changes the chemistry of the rocks around it and creates favorable ones conditions for the development of these red gemstones. As models have shown, without graphite, it would not be possible to form rubies, at least if these are the oldest known ruby deposits in Greenland.